Wanting to upload this video for everyone wanting to mount a bike rack to the back of their camper's bumper. I guess some of the newer ones might come with them, but my older one obviously didn't. Uh, we had this bike rack given to us, and I thought, well, why not? Let's shop for a way to get it mounted. At first, I was like, well, maybe I could weld it, but honestly, I always search Amazon, eBay, all those fun sites, and I found this trailer hitch uh, mount for an RV for the rear bumper. It was on Amazon. One just like it was on there for $19 and some change, but it wasn't going to make it to my house in time, so I bought the $25 one, which still, in my opinion, isn't a bad deal at all when some of them were fetching upwards of 60 bucks on up. So this is pretty self-explanatory, other than you needing to decide if you want it on top or bottom and I'll tell you <laughs> tell you why you want it on top because you're at the rear of the bumper right and when you're going over uh, let's say an incline railroad tracks anything that might hang up in the back there's going to be more of a pinch point at the front and the back so if you're going let's say down an incline and then back up a steep one i don't know some of these campgrounds you'd be surprised but you don't want anything hanging down real low and this would be the lowest thing and you don't want your bikes out here hanging up so you just want to get it up as high as you can so i'm gonna mount mine on top this bolt kind of threw me but all I can think is it's a way to cinch down whatever you're hauling and keep it from rattling because that seems to be an issue sometimes. So this is like a tightening bolt. That way there's no slop once you get your bikes and everything mounted. This is going to be pretty self-explanatory, guys, though. And all these kits might be different. So I'm not going to put socket sizes and wrench sizes and all that. Just, you know, if you haven't yet, bought you, buy you a good uh, socket set. You'll have everything you need here. But I'm just gonna drop these in here like this. And I'm gonna put the bolts facing down in case, let's say one of these came loose. Just one of them, right? You would catch it hopefully before the whole thing fell off. If one of them came loose, you'd lose the bolt instead of the nut. So let's do that. And then we're gonna install this plate. And I don't have my tripod today, but the rest is self-explanatory. You're gonna be using a flat washer. So you're gonna mount the plate up here, and then you're gonna use a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. And I'll show you that all put together here in a minute, but I don't have my tripod again, and. I I think it's pretty self-explanatory guys you don't really have to get this dead center you can tell mine's not i got i got my really cool sticker that i put on last year and i really don't want to cover it up so i'm just going to mount it here for now and then maybe later on i'll slide it over i don't know i should have put the sticker over here but dumb me put it in the middle but yeah i'm gonna mount it there and this is as wide as our bikes are, so it might be off center a little bit, which is gonna be fine with me because really I'd like to have more access to the spare tire if I need it. So um, I think I can, I think I can scoot this in far enough to where it would even give me more clearance, but that's what's nice about this system that I got. Oh, yeah, I might as well show you what I got here. Again, this was given to me and it's called Hollywood I thought it was Jollywood because it was torn, but it's Hollywood um, out in California. So just look up Hollywood bike racks. I'll tell you a little bit more about this kit before I get off here. This is a two inch kit and these bike racks come with a two inch adapter. And then it goes down to like an inch and I think an inch. So um, you, I'm pretty sure Pretty sure they make hitches that size. You guys might drop a comment or you might already have one on your car. So you might already know. 
but in this case it came with a two inch i was going to install it just because this was 25 bucks i didn't need to look any farther and i didn't find one smaller all right so the bike rack's on and pretty happy with it uh there is some adjustment in here there's like a hole here a hole here and a hole here there's three holes so you can adjust it one thing I was going to note that I noticed right away was this thing was all wobbly gobbly here. Now I don't have the pins in here and it's probably made to bounce a little bit, but you can see this rocking in here. And this is why I was mentioning this piece here is to tighten all that down so you don't get any of that side to side motion of the ocean type thing. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So. Gonna get the bikes mounted. Thanks for watching.